All right. Okay, here we go. All right, my friend. Patriotism in America. Recently, we celebrated uh, or didn't celebrate the 4th of July, the founding date of uh, this United States of America. And you had some some interesting things where you that you commented and, and posted. And you, of course, you got some 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 flap. But we are now at our lowest in regards to patriotism, the being patriotic towards your country than we have ever been. There's new reports, new polls, this younger generation, maybe they're wearing the Edgars. <laughs> <clears throat> they are not patriotic, patriotic. What are, what's your take? What's my take on patriotism? Well, like the things I just said in regards to first, you put up a post saying, you know, how you felt about how you felt about it. And so let's go. Let's go there. Let's go there. Okay. What exactly did you say in regards to patriotism in America? Uh, well, I don't remember what I said. Um, <laughs> I think it was probably something along the lines of, uh, you know, they, it's, uh, there are bad things that have happened in the past. I try not to dwell on the past, I try to build up the future. I don't know what post, which post it was, but I'm generally my thoughts are along those lines. Um, you know, I, I want to work to make the country better. I don't want to tear the country down. And, mm -hmm. um, I think that there's still, you know, anybody who's ever really traveled will probably tell you that how good that we still have it here, you know, where our worst off are still better off than people in a lot of other places. Mm -hmm. And we have a lot of um, opportunities and a lot of freedoms here that just don't exist in other major industrialized countries like China, for example, where you can't criticize the government. You know, here you can socially critique and criticize and satirize whoever and whatever you want. And um, that's an extraordinary freedom. And it's, it's a very powerful tool. And I think it's an important right that we should cherish because we would not have had something like the civil rights movement without that afforded protection to speak out against injustices. And I think that the left forgets this sometimes when they get caught up in, um, you know, the moment and emotions. And I think the right also is guilty of forgetting the importance of the First Amendment when they go on their sprees and rants about books and things like that so <clears throat> um that's kind of my view of this country does that have there been things in the past that are you know wrong and atrocious and things that we should try to rectify yeah i think we should have those discussions and i think we should learn about the, that history there's nothing wrong with talking about history i made a film about history and there will be some people who probably will want to cancel my film because we talk about history that's not convenient or popular. But when I talk about history, I talk it about it with the intent of trying to improve our country and trying not to repeat past mistakes. I don't talk about it from the standpoint of we should tear down our country or tear down everything. Well, and I don't... Uh -huh. Here's what you said really quick. I don't hate the country like some people, nor do I dwell on or wallow in the past. Is it perfect? Of course not. But it still gives me the freedom to express what I want, believe what I want, critique who I want, and pursue what I want. These ideas alone are worth celebrating in regards to celebrating on 4th of July. Yeah. Well, mm -hmm. I, I think <clears throat> to me it is. I mean, I do have the opportunity to pursue the things that I want. It's not guaranteed. There's no guaranteed outcomes. I mean, my film is an example I wasn't guaranteed that I was going to be able to find a distributor or get the film made or have people theaters pick it up. Um, I just had to figure out a conventional, unconventional way to do it. But I still had the freedom to pursue that process mm -hmm. um, and to try to find a way to make it work without anybody stopping me. And so, yeah, I do. I do cherish those those freedoms. And um, I think there's a difference between patriotism and nationalism. You know, mm. I think it's OK to love the country. And where you're at and uh but i think it's all it can be dangerous when you start becoming nationalistic and viewing other people as lesser than you you know 